Welcome to Super Elite Entertainment. This show is brought to you by Perez Tire Center, located at 72 Milton Street in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Aces Bell Bond, Yasmin Khan, quick response 24-7, easy payment 203-257-6228. Ramirez Spanish Restaurant, specializing in seafood y churrasco. Spark City Smoke and Vape Shop, located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Evolution Sports Bar and Cafe, located at 1279 North Avenue in Bridgeport. Miranda & Sons Automotive, specializing in brakes, electrical system, diagnostic check, full general auto repairs. Contact Louis Miranda at Miranda & Sons. Bridgeport Auto Glass, 1227 Barnum Avenue in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Visit www.bridgeportautoglassshop.com. And finally, Moran Insurance Agencies, protecting your future. Call 203-864-6232 or visit www.moraninsuranceagencies.com. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to Live with Jason Rodriguez. I'm your host of this show. We're broadcasting from our studio, the Super Elite Entertainment Studio, which is located in downtown Bridgeport. So excited because tonight we have a special guest. He is the executive director of the BCYL, the Bridgeport Caribe Youth League. John Torres is here in the studio tonight sitting on the hot seat. And uh, we're going to have a blast when I guarantee you that John is here. He's fired up. And he's ready to tear it apart, man. So for all you guys that are watching right now, I'm going to kindly ask you to please click that share button and share this live broadcast into your timeline. Reach out to someone, forward it to them, send it to them, and let them know that we are live tonight from the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. The only studio like this in Bridgeport. So I hope you guys are having a good time. Beautiful day out there. I know you had a long day at work. But if you're at home right now, if you're watching on your phone, if you're watching on your iPad or your your, your desktop computer, just sit back and relax. We're going to have a good time. Also, I want to welcome all you guys that are watching on Facebook Watch because I know there's, they're out there, there's a lot of you who watch on Facebook Watch. And if you don't know what Facebook Watch is, it's a new app that has been created by Facebook. If you have a smart TV, all you got to do is download the app and you don't even have to set up a, uh, you don't even have to set up a Facebook account. All you need is the app, download it into your uh, your smart TV, and you'll be able to watch everything that is live on Facebook. So I want to welcome all of you that are watching on Facebook Watch tonight. Also, I want to welcome all of our listeners who listen on our podcast. If you're listening on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Republic Radio, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, thank you for your love and for your support. If it's not for you, we will not be able to do what we do on a weekly basis. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all of you essential workers who are out there working extremely hard on our behalf, especially during this critical time that we are all living in, uh, having to deal with this pandemic called COVID-19. But with that said, you guys, I'm excited to be here broadcasting live from our studio. Um, I'm going to encourage you to please share this broadcast into your timeline. I'm going to take a quick commercial break. When I come back, I have Mr. John Torres, the executive director of BCYL, Birchport Caribe Youth League, here in the studio tonight when I come right back momentarily from this commercial break. Don't go anywhere, guys. Evolution Sport Bar Cafe, el mejor ambiente de Bridgeport, Connecticut. Presenta Jueves de Karaoke y Happy Hour. Estoy enamorado de una mala. Viernes de Ladies Night, donde las damas entran gratis la noche entera. ¡Qué chévere! Sábado de Fusion Day. Y los domingos son de rumba. Con especial toda la noche. Todos los días mezclando en vivo Los DJ más duros Con los mejores especiales en bebida Y aperitivos Muévete al lugar donde se vive la noche Evolution Sport Bar Café 1279 North Avenue, Brisbane, Connecticut Reservas al 203-908-1588 Evolution Sport Bar Café El mejor ambiente
All right, you guys, and welcome back to Life with Jason Rodriguez. I'm the host of the show. And we're broadcasting from our amazing studio, which is located right here in downtown Bridgeport. Listen, if you're not following our Facebook page, please uh, go on to Facebook and follow us at Super Elite Entertainment. Follow us on Instagram and also subscribe to our YouTube channel when you have an opportunity. Uh, we want to bring up those members on our YouTube channel, man. And every broadcast that we have here in our studio, whether it's in the studio or outside the studio, those broadcasts are always available for you to watch at a later time on our YouTube channel. But with that said, I'm excited to have our special guest here in the studio tonight. The executive director of BCYL, John Torres, is here in the studio. In August 20, um, in August of 2003, Sam and John Torres established the Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, BCYL as they are known by. In memory of his late father, Martin, the goal was to provide children in the city of Bridgeport with baseball league, with a baseball league in which they could participate and grow. Sam and John recruited a group dedicated. Let me re let me repeat it. Sam and John recruited a group of dedicated individuals to form a board of directors, and the league's first baseball game was played in 2004. Since then, BCYL has served over seven thousand youngsters and demonstrated the ability to leverage sport programs to instill importance of education and community service within the children and families of our community. Their mission is to, pro to provide youth with sports, educational, civic direction, helping them build character, self-esteem, and to reach their full potential and value in society. So you guys, without further ado, I want to present to you tonight's guest on the hot seat, Mr. John Torres, how you doing, John? Hey, Jason, how you doing, man? <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me here. It's definitely the hot seat here tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, and by the way, gorgeous, gorgeous studio. Very impressive, man. I'm proud of you, brother. Great job, man. Thank you, man. This Thank is you. awesome. And, and I truly appreciate that. You know, like I told you earlier when we were having conversation, every time I invite someone as a guest to the studio, um, they're like, okay, sure. And they think that they're going to the dungeon. <laughs> they're going to, you know, report to the lower parts of, yeah. of the building and... Yeah. You know, but no, we have a legit studio right here, man. Yeah, no, no it doubt. is for the community. It's a community platform, and I'm, and I'm honored to have you here tonight. Good. I I'm glad to be here. Finally, after <laughs> a year and a half, uh -huh. uh, we finally get to uh, I get to uh, join you here tonight. So uh, I'm, I'm happy for that. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, you know, we're just going to jump right into it, John. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of things, um, especially BCYL, Bridgeport Caribe Youth League, which is uh, a, a thriving... Um, uh, agency or program here in the city of Bridgeport making a difference in lives and it doesn't matter what nationality you're from black white you know Hispanic Dominican it doesn't matter right. you guys cater and service to all nationalities and that's a beautiful thing so before we jump right into it in regards to BCYL I just want you to give a brief introduction of yourself to the viewing audience at this time John sure um, born and raised in, in, in Bridgeport on the West End uh, I, I lived there until I got married to my beautiful wife, Beatrice, and then we moved to the east side for about three years, and, uh, and then uh, now we reside in, in uh, Derby, Connecticut. Uh, prior to that, I, we had a short stint in Boston, Massachusetts, but, uh, you know, my heart has always been in Bridgeport, no matter where I've been. Uh, I attended Buller Havens High School. I, gra I graduated there um, with electrical, and then uh, went to Housatonic, and graduated there with the uh, business management and um, accounting uh, degree. So uh, always been here. When I worked in a Radio Shack, I managed uh, downtown Bridgeport, which was formerly known High Hole Center. High Hole Center. Well, wow, I used to work there. <laughs> yeah. I remember shopping there. I used yeah. to go to the Chinese store and get my Kung Fu's. <laughs> you remember those? The yeah. Chinese slippers. Yeah, yeah. No but I'm sorry for interrupting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But uh, those were great times. And, um, you know, uh, I, you know, in, two, in uh, late part of my uh, uh, career, I left Radio Shack after 25 years, then went to Bank of America, worked there for about three years. And uh, I don't know, I, I just lost my passion uh, working in the private sector and, and doing what we were doing uh, for various reasons, which I won't go into very details on it. But, uh, you know, I always say God is great and um, he brought me... Uh, to CASA, which is a uh, non-profit mm. behavioral health organization here in Bridgeport doing great work, and I'm the finance manager there. So I got like two full-time jobs. 
you know, uh, daytime it's a finance manager, nights and weekends it's Caribe, but Caribe is probably 24 seven to be honest. And, uh -huh. uh, you know, but uh, I, I take a lot of pride, especially uh, of the work that we a, 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 as a team and as a community are doing to serve our children. And, and that's awesome because you guys been around for for quite some time, since 2003. When 17 you caught, years. Yeah, yeah, 17 years since you caught that vision yeah. and you put it into work. And and now you have a group of people who are, you know, I, I believe uh, employed by BCYL. Yep. Also, you have a, mm -hmm. what, like over 200 Volunteer. volunteers, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that's pretty impressive. And yeah. the amount, and, and I just want to make it clear for the people that's watching, because a lot of people think whenever they hear about BCYL, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, um, and some people tend to say Bridgeport Caribe Youth League. Yeah. You know, they thinking that all you guys do is baseball. Right. You know, right, and that's right. not so. And that, and that was my mindset. I thought yeah, that's yeah. all you did at one time. Yeah. But you guys offer a great variety of different services. Not only baseball, you do basketball, you do all kind of sports. Sure. But job readiness. Yeah. Um, uh, SET preparation. Yeah. And we're going to talk about all of that shortly. Yeah. 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 But go ahead. You can take it from the Yeah, no. I, I mean, it's like anything else. You, you evolve, right? Mm -hmm. Um when we first started this 17 years ago, to be honest, it wasn't even my idea. Uh, I, I, back then, I was working countless of hours, and uh, my father, Pat, passed away in September 2003, and my brother, Sam, was the one that came up with the idea of starting a baseball league in Seaside Park, because for three years prior to that, there was no organized uh, baseball league, uh, and, and yet we grew up playing in the Spanish leagues, in the Pacheco League, the Christian Brotherhood Le League, and uh, my father used to coach us baseball. And for us, uh, that had a, a big impact in our lives because that's the way our father really stayed connected with us and, mm -hmm. and, and was very awesome. So um, we started putting the, the organization, as you said earlier, and we played our first game. We had about a couple of hundred kids. And since then, we've been building. And, and you know, one of the things that we found is that our kids are awesome. They, they're very resilient. They have a lot of inherent talents. And what they really need is someone to believe in them, mm. someone to really um, show them the opportunities that are available out there via resources, via um, access. And, and, you know, so that's what, what our mission has been. So, you know, little by little, we've gone from baseball to basketball to girls softball to cheerleading, to developmental clinics. So our sports side is all year round. And then we, we you know, funny story is we had uh, one year, uh, I said, uh, all right, we're gonna do an honor road trip to take the kids to see the New York Mets play uh -huh. uh, at Shea Stadium back in the day. So what happened is that uh, back then we had about 300 kids. Uh, we had less than 30, 30 kids that qualify for honor rolls, uh, A's and B's. And um, so we then said, okay, if you got to see, you could come. But when we came back from that, I remember, and I give our board of directors back then a lot of credit because uh, they immediately say, you know, we got to do something. What's going on? And, you know, and, and so what we did is we started getting together with parents, having workshops around the importance of education and having those teacher conferences, not waiting for report cards. We uh, started having themes, believe, achieve, succeed, uh, school rocks, all those things, just to keep it top of mind. And um, everybody started buying into it and it was real, really awesome. And then we um, started our uh, tutoring program for math and reading uh, held at that that's be, held, is held at UB, and um, and and there it was. You know, we still focused it on math and reading because as as we collect report cards after every marking period, mm -hmm. we found that that was the big opportunity. And um, and little so little by little, you know, things have evolved. We've had SAT. We got a scholarship program, and I, I can go real. I can go on and on about Caribe because, uh -huh. to be honest, I, I'm really passionable about it. Uh, and as we see, is really about opportunity. And I know we, we several weeks ago, you and I had uh, the pleasure of, of sitting down and, and speaking. And and um, and I told you, you know, I'm where I'm at, and probably you as well. And 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 is because somebody believed in me. That's right. Somebody really say, hey, John, this is the way you got to do it, and reinforce 
what my parents were saying to us uh, at back home and saying to me. So I, I, I'm blessed. I, I know those people. I could give you their names right off the tip because that they were so impactful. You know, oh, yeah. so impactful. And, and it's not so much of what they said at the time, but how they messaged it and what they did to help me along the way. So, you know, that's what I want to do. You know, since I came back, I just want to pay that forward for our youth. And our goal is, what we all, our motto is building today's youth, tomorrow's leaders, is to help these kids understand that as they become tomorrow's leaders, not to forget where they came from, mm -hmm. to give back to the communities where they end up living. Uh, hopefully it will be Bridgeport, but if not, wherever, they, that they can make an impact in somebody's lives. And absolutely, absolutely. And I, yeah. I have to say that I take my hat off to you and to the whole entire BCYO because you guys are... are doing an outstanding job you've been around for a long time proof is in the pudding you guys are, are pushing forward making a difference in lives mm -hmm. and um you know so what is it like john when because you've been around a long time already <laughs> bcy has been been around a long time impacting lives what is it like what is it like when you see um someone from years ago who started off with you who come to visit you periodically you know and, yeah. and, and you can see the progress the, the the end result of the investment that all of you and your team invested yeah. into that person what is that feeling no like? i i tell you that that's just to me that's a blessing i mean i i you know just recently uh we had uh, uh eric franco graduate from rensselaer institute uh and um he he is a computer uh, a gaming designer you know wow. by, by by degree and he came back and spoke to our our students in our success program about that field and what do you need to de get in that field and it was awesome you know and, and and I see like Manny Morales one of our one of our original alumni he just had a baby girl and and he's so proud he's a father and stuff and we see you know uh, uh, I mean I could go on and on uh -huh. and naming these kids but it, it, it's just it, it's unbelievable for me it, when I see them uh, it's interesting because at times like I don't recognize them and it says it's me and, and then I all oh, right okay and we start talking and um, and always you know it, it's always good that you know and they are doing different things some of them are in corrections some of them are working in public facilities in different towns others are, are, are in the accounting field th things in marketing it, and all different things spectrums and mm -hmm. you know uh and and for us uh what we want to do is we want to leverage that uh resources for our, our our existing youth because uh they are now what we consider our alumni we have an alumni program and that's the goal is for them to come back mentor these kids um take them maybe to their place of work show them around and and, and provide them that that different experience that maybe that youngster probably wouldn't have been able to have. Part. Absolutely, and with all the services that you provide, requires finances. Yeah, definitely. And so my question for you is, how does BCYL operate? Do you get grants? Do you get donations? Yeah. Um, uh, charitable, charitable giving? I mean, how do you how do you yeah. operate? And if so, if there's someone that's watching and they want to sure, donate. Sure, sure, Yeah. Yo, so, you know, we, we have grants. Uh, we. From, from foundations, we also, uh, uh, from the state and, and the city has uh, helped us. Uh, but most of our, 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 our funding comes from private. Uh, people that give us donations uh, as well as our fundraisers. In fact, uh, I'm gonna plug our fundraiser that we have coming up on November 19th, mm -hmm. which is a virtual, it's called the BCWOW Mystery Virtual Fundraiser. Uh, unlike a lot of virtual fundraisers where there's going to be a lot of speaking unlike that it's going to be a mystery but the cool thing about this is for the entire family when we want the kids to be involved in it and whatnot and that is on november 19th you could visit our website bcwild.org uh, to get more information or call our office at 203-913-0073 in addition for those that would like to make a donation it's real easy call me <laughs> or you simply um, go to our website. Right on the top button of our website, there's a donate. You donate there, and, and we be truly appreciative of, of all support. And if you know someone that could donate, please call the office. Con let's set up a meeting with me. I, I would like to meet them 
and, and tell them about uh, BCW because that's how, how that's how we got into where we're at. Yes, Jay is because we have all for Caribe. It's all working together um, as a community, and I could tell you the number of, uh, of organizations here in Bridgeport. You know, whether it be GBLM, whether it be Puerto Rican Day Parade of Fairfield County, whether it be McGivney Center, Sheen Center, uh, Who's a Tonic, UB, Wakeman, mm -hmm. all these organizations that we have uh, collaborated with and, and really to to continue to provide our services to the children. And, 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 and for me, I am grateful for that because for us, you know, people think that, and I said this in the past and it's true, People think because a, a, a child attends your program that that's only that child is only for your program, mm -hmm. uh, and and we've had many uh, children that participate in our program participate in various other ones, and yes. that's good, Absolutely. right? Because we can't be the answer for everything to everybody, yeah. so ain't nothing wrong with that. Absolutely, man. And um, I just again I want to welcome all of the people who are starting to tune in right now who missed the first part of the show. Uh, the gentleman that you see here uh, seated to my left is uh, Mr. John Torres. He's the executive director of the BCYL, the Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, here located in the city of Bridgeport, an amazing um, agency that's out there making an impact in the lives of children and teenagers. And, you know, uh, John, what I want to do is before we take yeah. a quick commercial break, I want to acknowledge some of the people that are watching. Um, this is, I think there's a lot of uh, Johnny fans on here. All right, there's a lot of them. Matter of fact, Nidia Lugo is saying, Hi, John, we are watching from the McGivney basketball practice. So your kids are up there Nidia, practicing right awesome. now. Awesome. Uh -huh. Awesome. is awesome. Great volunteer, and she's one of our on-site coordinators. Does a great job. Yep. Bertella Love is also watching. She's saying hi, guys. And uh, Lissette Diaz is saying hi. And uh, Keith Hello. Teal is saying hi. And uh, also my mother, who's always watches, she watches every week faithfully, <laughs> um, she's saying that kids are important. And yes. I got, yeah, and I have to agree with what she said, because when I was a kid coming up in the city of Bridgeport, yep. in the east side, I wish that we had the type of services out there that you offer. Yeah. We didn't have that coming up. You know, so the families of the city, the children, the t especially the teenagers, should take full advantage of the services that you're that you're offering to them. Man. Yeah, I, you know, and, and hi, Jason's mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. And by, and by the way, uh, I, I do agree. Uh, there's a lot of resources here. You know, um, that's the one thing that um, I'm working with a committee here, uh, it uh, called the Bridgeport Echo um, System, mm -hmm. where we're trying to bring all kinds of organizations uh, to provide youth with, with not only STEM-related programs but also other programs um, here in in Bridgeport. Because you're right, there is a lot of resources, and at times our parents don't know where to go to. Yes, and um, even we're working with the City of Bridgeport with Tammy Papa and the Lighthouse Program. I'm working on a website that's gonna. Uh, be able to be a one stop mm -hmm. for for city residents to see where they can get their children involved. Absolutely, there's a lot of there's a yeah. lot of organizations like Caribe here in Bridgeport doing phenomenal things. And again, Caribe is not only about baseball. You guys do a variety of different things yeah. besides just sports. And when we yeah. come back from the commercial break, we're going to touch on each and every one of those services that you provide, Johnny. All right. Awesome. So I want to give a big shout out also to the P um, Willie Willie Munez who's watching, and she's saying great job, Johnny. Uh, continue uh, doing what you're doing. Good luck with Caribe. Uh, that's my Lee. brother Willie. Oh, that's your brother Willie. No, Willie oh. Muniz from oh, church. Oh, Willie. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Not Willie Carr. And, uh, <laughs> yep, I see uh, Raquel Ramos. She's saying hi, Johnny. Hello. And uh, Luz Rodriguez, Bruni De Leon, yeah. uh, way out there in New Hampshire. She's saying thanks, awesome. Uh, kids need to be in a great inspirational place. Absolutely. And that's exactly Amen what you, to that. Yeah, that's exactly what you're providing to the children of our community, Johnny. But right now, we're going to take a quick commercial break, okay? Yep. So for you guys that are watching right now, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break. Um, again, if you haven't shared this broadcast into your timeline, please do so now. Uh, John Torres, the executive director from the BCYL, is here in the studio sitting on the hot seat. And you already know, we are having a really good time. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back momentarily. Don't go anywhere. Looking for custom wheels? Looking for quality and professional service? Do you need a flat tire repaired? Are you looking for a $45 alignment and the lowest prices in the state? Come to Perez Tire Center located in the city of Bridgeport. At Perez Tire Center, we take pride in our selection and service. We are never short on inventory and we give you the best guaranteed lowest prices up front. At Perez Tire Center, we slash the competition 
and will beat the other guys. Financing is available and no credit check is needed. We also install batteries and tires on recreational vehicles, trailers, and motorcycles. If you need it, we got it. Perez Tire Center is open seven days per week, located at 72 Knowlton Street in the great city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. All right, you guys, and welcome back to Live with Jason Rodriguez. I'm your host of this show, and we're here broadcasting from the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. We're having an amazing time, a blast, with Executive Director from the Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, um, Mr. John Torres. So, John, how you feeling so far, brother? I'm feeling awesome, man. It's yeah? great. It's great. It's good? Yeah. All right. As long as, as long as you're feeling awesome, you're having a good time, that's what matters. Yep. You know, I set this studio up so that when people come here as a guest, I want you to feel comfortable and at home and feel that you had the freedom and the liberty to be yourself. All awesome. right? So. No doubt. I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. So, a couple of things that I wanted to throw out there real quick, and I'm going to put them up on the screen. The first yep. thing I wanted to throw on there is this one right here. The SAT prep program, a 10-week wow. program that you hold on Saturday mornings for four hours to help students learn strategies on taking the SAT test. Talk yeah. about it. Yeah, I, for, I'll tell you, we, we started a scholarship program, and probably we're going to get to that here in a, a bit, but uh, we, we said, why have a, a, how, how can we get more kids into college? And one of the factors that colleges use uh, currently is the SAT test. So we started that program. The great thing about that is that this program, for me, is equivalent to national programs that charge thousands of dollars, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, we have certified teachers that teach the program, focusing around the skill, uh, uh, taking the skill, uh, the test. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the one thing is that uh, we also do like one teacher to no more than 12 students and really focus on targeted skill development mm. uh, for the test. And we've seen some cohorts, some groups that have collectively had over a hundred basis point improvement. And the great thing about this program, it, it's held on Saturdays, four hours, and those students are definitely dedicated. Uh, I'll give a shout out to our director of education, Natasha River, that does a phenomenal job with, with this program and the other educational programs. And, and the, res the the kids love it. That's they love awesome. it. That's awesome. So the next one I'm going to throw up on the screen is math and reading tutoring program for students in grades three to eight. Yeah. Uh, one to one to four tutor students ratio. Yep. Talk about it, Johnny. Yeah. Well, that that program started. My wife at one time was the director of that program and um, and and the SAT and and now Natasha heads it, but. The, the one thing about that program is that it started as one, we were doing it once a year for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Now we currently do it throughout the school year. That's awesome. It, 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 and we really focus on the kids, um, what their needs are. We really uh, adjust to where they're at. Uh, we learned a long time ago, you know, we figure, okay, a child is a fourth grader, they need to be at this level. But however, they, ha they haven't been taught that yet. So we do a lot of coordinations with their teachers to ensure that we focus on what their need, what the student needs are. Yep. And, and we've gotten kids that are going through our tutoring program that struggled, and then by the end of the uh, school year, they're doing honors. That's awesome. So it's man. paying off. That's awesome. That's awesome. Next one. Mind and Motions Workshop derived from a partnership between BCYL, Bridgeport Public District School District, and Connecticut Association for the Gifted. Well, this, I, and you know, talk about partnerships, right? You know, the, the, the school, the Bridgeport Public School has been a phenomenal partner with mm -hmm. us, as well as the Diocese of Bridgeport Schools. But this one here is one that, that we hold every year. Unfortunately, this past March, we were going to have it in Roosevelt for the last five years, previous five years, they were at Discovery School. But these are teaching kids hands-on learning. It could be uh, building a tunnel. It could be, you know, a, a lot of like my, uh, things that create get creative mind juices going, right? Yes. For these kids, and um, it, it's a great day, and there's workshops for the parents too. So uh, for for us, we're, we're grateful, and we're hoping that it, this coming uh, year, 2021, we'll be able to do it in Roosevelt when when uh, when the time permits. 
Absolutely. Let's look at the next one. Uh, well, let's pass that. We already did that one. Uh, success. success. Students understanding college and career expectations to succeed. Now, this aims to help youth ages 14 to 24 to understand the expectations for college and a career pathway. Yes. So, you know, at Caribe, um, we, 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 we say, you know, we want our kids to, mm -hmm. to be college ready, to go to college. But we understand that not every student wants to go to college. Or, or, and if they don't want to do that, then what we want to do is, and we're working with the unions actually on this, where uh, they, have, they can w uh, learn a vocation. So we want to give them a pathway to vocational mm -hmm. training. If not that, if not college, then how about a pathway to jo job readiness so that you're ready upon graduating from high school? And that's the one thing we stress to our kids and our families. Graduating from high school has to become automatic. No it's about to about it. And we can't celebrate too much on it because what we want to do is focus on your next uh, path of your journey. Mm. You know, so uh, what we want, we've done this success. What this does is like somebody will say, oh, I want to be an electro engineer. But do you really know what it takes to be an electrical engineer? So we'll bring people that are in that field. We'll bring entrepreneurs, even business owners that, that work with electrical engineers, and they'll explain the whole process. Mm -hmm. So now the kids can have a better understanding of what it takes to go mm -hmm. there. It's like um, last year we took the kids to UPS, and the first mindset in, uh, of the kids was, oh, they drive trucks, mm -hmm. right? Like everybody thinks Caribe is a baseball league, right? <laughs> but yep. we're more than that. But the thing is that when the kids went through this tour in Hartford, they learned about IT opportunities, management opportunities, logistics opportunities. A and now they came away with a different sense that, wow, this is more than driving a truck. There's some really cool jobs available here. So that's, that, that's what this success uh, program does. That's awesome. So let's, uh, let's continue on. But, you know, you mentioned something um, where you said volunteers will come in and speak to the kids. Yep. I think that's pretty unique and really important. And if, and if anyone is watching out there that's a professional, yeah. and what I mean by that is, you, you know, you're a, a, let's say a professional landscaper, a professional uh, electrician, whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, I mean, I look, mean go, go to our, our website, call the office. Let We want to connect with you because we want to expose, especially if there's mm -hmm. internship opportunities for our kids. Uh, it'll be phenomenal. If you have employment opportunities, absolutely. You know, I have kids that graduated from college that are looking for work in marketing. It, it, uh, we have a criminal justice uh, a major that just uh, graduated from college looking for work. We have great kids that that are employable that given the opportunity mm -hmm. can do great things that's awesome john so let's look at the next one that i'm going to put up on the screen uh caribe boys to men's program wow. which aims to teach boys ages 12 to 18 the value of self-respect boundaries etiquette members participate in team building events and outings mm -hmm. while receiving guidance from successful men if anything I like that one a lot. Yeah. I really like well, that one a lot. And I'll tell you, I, I'm going to give a shout out to Veronica Feliciano because Veronica Feliciano started the first Caribe Girls Empowerment Program. Mm. And that program is similar to this one. And, it, and this is how the boys program evolved because the girls were doing so well with this. And, and what I love about both programs is that the, the young ladies and the young men that participate in this program, they have great mentors that are real straight with them. Mm -hmm. There's no sugarcoating things. It's the real deal. This is what you expect. This is, you know, you want to be a young lady, you know, then you got to act like one. You This is what people are going to look at. And, and they talk about a lot of different things mm -hmm. because girls and boys are totally different, right? And for the young men, we teach a lot. Uh, they teach a lot about self-respect about how to carry yourself as a young man um, and, and amongst other, other things. So what, what this, and, and I'll tell you, you see the young ladies and, and the young men, how they develop and grow and become more mature, but more importantly, more confident in themselves, mm. which is truly a blessing, you know? Excellent, man. And um, again, for you guys that are watching right now, if you're just tuning in, this is my good friend, 
Mr. John Torres, he's the executive director of the BCYL, which is located here in the Bridgeport, Connecticut. And um, so many different services that they offer and provide to our community. They're a, pla uh, a pillar in, uh, in our community, and you're located right there on Park Avenue. Yeah, and, um, seven, yeah. So, Johnny, your, the services that you provide, is, is that also considered as an after-school after program? Yeah, it's after-school, yes, because all our programming, we, we have our program typically right now uh, mm -hmm. after 5 o'clock, uh, on the weekdays and then on Saturdays we start from the morning and some programs can end later. And I do want to give a quick quick shout out to Tony Juckins and the mentors of the Boys to Men as well because he's done a phenomenal job uh, with this. Uh, we started it now um, in our second year now and um, he, he's done a great job and, and, and I love the, the, what the work that they're doing. That's awesome. So my final question before we jump into another break. Uh, the last five, six, seven months, we've been going through a crazy pandemic, yeah. COVID-19. And I'm sure that it has brought to halt um, a lot of different services that you provide. So uh, what kind of impact has COVID-19 had on your agency? Yeah. And when can the family members who indulge in what you provide can get back to, uh, to yeah. normal with you, know, with you guys? Yeah, I, I, you know, Jason, I, I'll tell you, uh, COVID for us, we had a pivot, you know, uh, we couldn't stop doing programming. Um, in fact, when we, we were lucky that our SAT prep program finished in March, unfortunately the kids never were able to take the SAT test because they got canceled, but we immediately went into tutoring mm. uh, a, a, on virtual. Uh, a, and now a, a lot of our programs, our Boys to Men, our Girls Empowerment, uh, our, our Success Program, all virtual. Uh, and, and then the, the, the sports is still the ones that are in person. But, you know, one of the things I will tell you about Caribe, I always say that at Caribe, we're family. And once you're part of Caribe, you're always part of Caribe. And I remember, and I'll tell you, I've been blessed. I have a great staff. I could give a shout out to, to, to the staff. Uh, I'm going to go real quick to Absolutely. Ruth, to Elizabeth, uh, Amy, uh, Agnes, Mike, Willie, Natasha. Uh, thank you for all your hard work and your support. But, uh, I, I, you know, they collectively um, made over 300 phone calls during COVID to our families that we had, right? Mm -hmm. And we found that immediately uh, kids were using their parents' cell phones. Uh, some of them didn't have computers for the distance learning. Um, some of them had lost their jobs. There was delays on getting the unemployment to kick in. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we had some some mentors that were were needed guidance around that. So immediately we went out. We bought um, Chromebooks. We loaned them out to the kids so that they were able to use it for the school year. They came in late April. They had them for 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 April, May, and June. Uh, we gave out uh, comp uh, gala food gift cards. We did Vazi's uh, meal um, um, coupons that they could buy a family meal. Uh, we bought masks uh, that we gave out, uh, gloves back then when they were tough to get by. Uh, ba basically, and, and more importantly, we navigated our families to different resources. We got a great one with Alliance, whether it was with an energy assistance, rental assistance, but also um, unemployment because a lot of them were, were, were having issues. So we navigated, Mike Ayala and Agnes Dubois uh, do a great job with that aspect of, of, of our community platform. And, you know, we're, we're trying to help families. It, 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 it's, we're, we're in this together. Mm. And, and, you know, the one thing is, it's easy when things are going great for everybody to, oh, you know, hey, yeah, everything's going. But it's on the tough times when you have to really pivot and think about, okay, what do we do now? But more importantly, what do we do to help our families? Mm. It, not only my personal family, but the families that we serve. It, and, um, and you know, it was remarkable. We got letters, gifts from, you know, not gifts, but cards from, uh -huh. from, from uh, fa uh, families that have said thank you and whatnot. And, and you know, it, it, it's really, for me, it, it's heartwarming because... Yeah. You know, that's what it's all about. It's helping each other, whether Absolutely. it's in the good times or in the tough times. Absolutely, Johnny. And I congratulate you guys on what you've been doing for uh, over 17 years. Yeah. I mean, you guys have been going forth at it, and you've been making a difference in the lives of the people of our community, and I, and I congratulate you on that. And, you know, um, I want to, you know, thank all of you guys who are watching and leaving comments and, and, 
and all that kind of stuff is really important because and and i hope that you guys are getting some information out of this and i want to remind you guys really quick johnny i want to remind them that uh if you want some more information you can always visit www.bcyl.org or you go down and visit the office Absolutely. you know at 1067 park avenue in bridgeport connecticut or they can call 203-913-0073 uh, for all the information that you want if you want to volunteer if you want to give a donation i mean call that number swing swing past the office yeah I, the, the one thing i will say about swinging by, by the office <laughs> is because of the times we're at right now mm -hmm. we just ask that you call the office make an appointment and we'll be happy to set because we could only have a certain number of people at, at one given time absolutely up there so all right john so we're going to take another break all right let's do it yo so for you guys that are watching right now don't go anywhere we're going to take a break Please share this live broadcast into your timeline. We have to take breaks because we got to pay the bill. If we don't show these commercials, we will not be able to do what we do on a weekly basis here in our studio, the Super Elite Entertainment Studio, which is located in downtown Bridgeport. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back momentarily. Hi, welcome to Aces Bail Bonds. Do you need information regarding bail bonds and the bail bond process? Contact us at Aces Bail Bonds, where we are happy to give you a free bail consultation. You are in capable hands with our reputable agency. For fast, reliable bail bond service, get out of jail fast with ACES Bail Bonds. You can save time and money by calling ahead. We'll have the forms ready for you with everything handled privately, discreetly, and confidentially at our office. For fast, reliable bail bond service, call ACES Bail Bonds now. Welcome to Ramirez Restaurant. Welcome to Spark City Smoke and Vape, located at 815 Lafayette Boulevard, Bridgeport, Connecticut. All right, you guys, and welcome back to Live with Jason Rodriguez. Again, I'm your host of this show. We're broadcasting from our amazing studio, which is located right here in downtown Bridgeport. And tonight I have the executive director of the BCYL, Bridgeport Cadiva Youth Leaders, John Torres, here in the studio. John, good time? Good time, man. It's good. <laughs> it's all good. All right, John. So a couple of things that we're going to touch on before we uh, start concluding, because we're starting yeah, to wind up coming sure. to the end of the show. Um, three things that I wanted to touch on. The first one is scholarships and the reason why i say scholarship is because i read somewhere that bridgeport Caribe youth leaders have given away throughout the duration of your 17 years nearly six seven hundred almost a million dollars in scholarships that's pretty yeah. impressive man yeah so, yeah talk no I, i'll tell you you know our, our partnerships with ub with eastern connecticut university the diocese of bridgeport uh we had and all the fundraising we've done you went to our gala oh, yeah. in march and, and those proceeds go parts of those proceeds go to our scholarship fund and uh we've been blessed uh we we've had 98 students uh bcyl students uh, uh receive a, either a high school or a college scholarship and resulting in over a million dollars they received over a million dollars in in tuition these are tuition only scholarships but uh, collectively, I I'm proud of that. But I'm more proud of the fact that of those 98, we have produced uh, 12 college, uh, no, pardon, 18 college graduates uh, to date. 
and with 12 of them being first time college graduates and their family. And for me, t that's where it all happens because that's giving opportunity to those 12, 12 students because now they serve as an example for the younger siblings, uh -huh. for the neighbors, for the cousins, it, it does, you know, because now the bar says, okay, that's achievable, right? Yeah. When somebody sees it doing, so hey, now I could do it. Absolutely. And, that, and that's re really impressive. And education is key. Yeah. I mean, um, it's really important. And you guys take it very serious at BCYL. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, you know, due to COVID-19, a lot of people, like you say, had to pivot. They had to come up with new ideas and new approaches yeah. on how to continue uh, providing their services. Yeah. And one thing that you guys are getting ready to start doing is a virtual training yeah i mean what was that all about i seen so, a little blurb somewhere yeah. and i thought that was pretty interesting so we have uh, uh this, this is a great opportunity um one of our funders uh hispanic federation uh provided us some some funding uh for us to start we the success program that i talked to you about right mm -hmm. now we're gonna take it turbo to a 2.0 uh -huh. and 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 it's gonna be digital training so basically it's really young adults now we're targeting people 18 to 28 or older and the whole premises of that is about learning about digital skills computer skills oh, okay. whether it be through google platform microsoft and and the whole thing is that getting them to a comfort level that they would be able to navigate the computers the and also be able to write resumes that are effective, especially today where with the digital age that mm -hmm. all, everything comes electronically and they're looking for keywords or even interviewing. Because now people the first interview virtually mm -hmm. before they even see someone in person if they do that. And, and getting them comfortable around a computer device. But in addition to that is workforce development skill sets uh, so that they can be gainfully employed, or if not, they already have a job, but this may help them assist them in getting a promotion and advancement. By the way, congratulations on your promotion, <laughs> all right? Okay. So that's what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So so we're, uh, and, 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 and that's what we want to do, is it, it, it give people opportunities to achieve their dreams and goals, um, whether it be in the current role where they're at or, or somewhere else. Absolutely, man. And... Um the final thing that I wanted to touch on, Johnny, is right now we're living in a critical time where it's important for people to get out and vote. Uh, no doubt. A and voting is so important because a lot of people like to complain, but they don't like to get up and vote. So, you know, you're, you, you speak out, you speak up with your vote. Yep. Talk about it. So, you know, it, it's interesting. Like you said, we're in, in some interesting times mm -hmm. in, 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 our, in this world, and, and we need to speak up. Uh, you know, we have to have and we got to start getting very active in our in, in our civic duty. And I'll tell you, Caribe is going to be launching real soon uh, a civic program for our young adults. Um, and but we're starting um, next this week. You're going to start receiving e-blasts. Our, our, our families will start getting messaging, our alumni and young adults. We want them to register in order to to vote, you have to be registered. You could do it online. Uh, you're gonna get all the information. We got one of our alumni that's gonna speak and encourage the fellow alumni to do the same because if you wanna make a difference, if you wanna be heard, you gotta vote. And, and, and we gotta start voting for people that are like-minded as us, that are there to serve people, Absolutely. not serve themselves. And, and and what's happening up now? We got a lot of elected officials out there that should uh, be serving the people, but instead they're worrying about their self-interest first. And that's mm -hmm. not how this works, you know. Uh, if you're committed to this, we got to do it. And the other thing is, our civic program is going to help develop maybe some can uh, some young people that want to get become a candidate to run for office. How to get to that pathway? Absolutely, absolutely, man. And uh, Johnny, we we've come to the conclusion of the show, brother. Yeah, oh, wow. that is it. We go for one hour, man. The show's one hour. <laughs> you know, we can sit here until tomorrow and talk because you know we're men and we like to talk a lot. <laughs> but one thing that I wanted to mention, Johnny, especially to the uh, the members of BCYL. Yes. Uh, you have your brand new basketball season coming up. Yes. Um, starting this Saturday. Absolutely. I it's October is that eighth or tenth? Whatever. Tenth. 
October, October 10th, 10th yeah. and it's going to be taking place here in, in the city of Bridgeport at the McGivney Center. Yes. But the thing that I wanted to announce is that, unfortunately, because of COVID-19 and all the rules and regulations that have been stipulated by the state, mandated by the state, uh, family members and friends are not going to be allowed in the gym. Right. But it's going to be broadcasted. People can still watch the games talk about it thanks to super <laughs> elite entertainment uh they will be uh streaming the games to uh, for our families and all anybody that wants to watch it we're gonna have it on the uh bc wild facebook uh if you go visit uh friend us on bc wild uh, uh on our bc wild facebook page and you'll get to see the the games live in action um see these kids it's going to be running from 9 to 12. Uh, a great, uh, uh, and, and I want to thank you, Jason. Really, thank you for for your support. Uh, you're sponsoring a team and, and doing the video. And, and I, I'll tell you, I, I can't be more grateful that you stepped up to this because we were finding a way. How can we stay, could uh, keep our our parents engaged and connected? Mm -hmm. Because you know, one of the things at Caribe, our parents have to be involved. They have to go to the games. They got to go to practice. And now because of COVID. We're saying, no, you can't. Yeah, so this yeah, is a, a way one. for them to see how well their child's doing. Mm -hmm. And 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 I know you. we got some surprises that we're going to be doing some some uh, interviews with some of the kids. Uh -huh. We're, we're going to make it like yeah, the yeah, NBA. We, this yes, is right. Good. We're going to have some fun, man. Yeah. We're, we're going to be fun. in the Caribe bubble. Yeah. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I just want to let the people know, too, that uh, Joel Roman, he's a local um, actor. He's been in movies. He's done commercials, McDonald's, you name it. He's going to be there with me um on the mic so i'm not much of a commentator and but we're gonna have fun we're yeah, gonna have yeah, fun definitely. joel's gonna be there with me man and we're gonna be going back and forth conversating um uh, interviewing the kids you're definitely gonna be on there too so hey don't worry willie cora <laughs> man he'll, he'll he'll don't worry you'll, you'll be okay with willie cora yeah yeah but uh yeah i mean so, i mean i'm looking forward to uh the, the 10 weeks of basketball right yeah. there at the mcgivney center and i want to give a big shout out to the mcgivney center man. Oh, that absolutely place is an amazing establishment to I, I, i'm telling you um mm -hmm. mcgivney sheen center they've done a, a great job uh you, you know when, when we talk about we've been doing basketball now for 16 years at mcgivney mm -hmm. uh joe di sabello and staff out there uh you, you know it, it's just um a great 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 program absolutely johnny so with that said we're going to take a quick break. All right. When we come back, I'm going to hit you off with what I call the shotgun questions. Okay? Yep, yep. All right. So for you guys that are watching right now, don't go anywhere. Again, I'm the host of this show. We broadcast it from the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Super Elite Entertainment Studio right here in downtown Bridgeport. If you are not following us on Facebook or Instagram, please do so. Visit our website at www.supereliteentertainment.com. Matter of fact, if you know someone that should be featured here on our show, visit our website and uh, send me a message. And I guarantee you, in turn, I will, I will reach out to that person. Also, su subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be right back momentarily, guys. Don't go anywhere. Evolution Sport Bar Cafe. El mejor ambiente de Brisbane, Connecticut. Presenta Jueves de Karaoke y Happy Hour. Estoy enamorado de una mala. Viernes de Ladies Night. Donde las damas entran gratis la noche entera. ¡Qué chévere! Sábado de Fusion Day. Pa, 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 pa. Y los domingos son de rumba. Con especial toda la noche. Todos los días mezclando en vivo Los DJ más duros Con los mejores especiales en bebida Y aperitivos Muévete al lugar donde se vive la noche Evolution Sport Bar Café 1279 North Avenue, Brisbane, Connecticut Reservas al 203-908-1588 Evolution Sport Bar Café El mejor ambiente All right, you guys, welcome back to Live with Jason Rodriguez. We're broadcasting from my studio here in downtown Bridgeport. And uh, man, we are just having an amazing time. I've had a great, great time with executive director from BCYO, John Torres, man. And um, John, man, it's been a good, it's been good. It's been awesome. It's yeah. Been, it's been awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love this, man. Can't wait to one day come back again. Absolutely, absolutely, underneath the bright lights. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Now, at this point, John, in the interview, before I hit you off with what I call the shotgun questions, what I want to do is I want to provide you with an opportunity to speak directly to the viewing audience, directly to, to the crowd. If you want to give a shout out, if you want to give yep. some words of encouragement, some words of advice, right now is your opportunity. Go for it, John. Thanks. I, for, I, I want to thank, first of all, I want to thank my family, my wife, Beatrice, my, my son, Daniel, Jonathan, and my daughter, Jasmine. 
I, I just want to say thank you for their support that allows me to do what I'm doing. I want to thank the, the team that I have that I mentioned previously, but also our board of directors, our, our coaches, our mentors, our, our volunteers, and more importantly, the families that entrust us with their children. I want to say thank you for believing in us uh, as we are partners in this together. And, and and then also the kids. I, I wanna I wanna recognize them because they're they're awesome. And last but not least, I wanna thank our funders. Our, our funders have make it all possible. If it wasn't for them, uh, our kids wouldn't have the opportunities uh, to, to 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 experience what they receive from BC Wild. So thank you to all our sponsors. Excellent, man. And I think you did an outstanding job tonight, Johnny. Um, some people who come here get a little intimidated by the bright lights and all that kind of studio setting stuff But you came here ready you did an outstanding job And I'm sure that a great variety of the people that are watching majority of the people that are watching have been blessed by your words of Encouragement and people's lives are being changed because of your efforts and because of the efforts of your 200 plus team membership who are there with you on a constant basis backing you up and supporting you um, you know and, and I'm, I'm glad to be joining you and in, in being a part of the uh, new basketball season coming up for 2020. Yeah. I know we're going to have a blast, man. And if you ever need me for anything, I'm always here. Thank if you, you ever need our platform and our studio, if you ever want to come back to give a, a brief announcement or, or anything like that, you're always welcome here awesome. at any time. Well, I just want, hey, and, and officially, you're part of the Caribe family, man. <laughs> Thank you, So brother. welcome to the Caribe family, brother. <laughs> Thank right? you, brother. Thank you, man. So with that said, I'm going to hit you off with the shotgun questions. You ready? All right. All right, so here we go. What's your favorite song? Favorite song? Uh huh. Oh my God. Uh, I got a lot. Oh, to be real. Uh, es mi mujer. Um, I I could go on and on. I mean, I I got a lot of. Uh, so you got a whole bunch of favorite yeah, yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your favorite music is what? Salsa. I, I love salsa. Um, I, I love R and B. I, I really get into How about a little some freestyle. Bit. I, I, I freestyle. Johnny O, free, Coral, Cynthia, uh, Little yeah, Susie, yeah, yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little, little freestyle too. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> no doubt. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Uh, Return of the Titans. I love that movie by Disney, man. That was awesome. It talked about a lot of things that we're experiencing today. Absolutely. That's an excellent movie. Uh, favorite food? Favorite food? Italian. I love Ooh. Italian food. Although my wife makes some... Awesome arroz con gandule. Uh, my wife could cook, man, as you Oof. can see. All right? But, uh, <laughs> we yeah. We like no. to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. But uh, Italian, I love Italian. So, since you mentioned Italian, I'm not sure if you've been to my favorite restaurant, Italian favorite restaurant, but if you haven't, um, I'm going to encourage you to. Amici's and Shelton. Amici's and Shelton. Been there. Been there? Very good restaurant. Okay. Ralph and Richie's is one of my favorites. Man. Really? They're awesome. Yeah. yeah, they do have a good rice pudding there. Just yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favorite sport? Favorite sport, uh, I would say baseball number one, basketball number two, football. I mean, there's not much, any sport that I can get into. But yeah, those are my top three. Okay. What's your favorite car? Favorite car. My dream car always was a Jaguar, believe it or not. Although they have redesigned us, so I don't know. But pretty soon I'll be looking for a new car anyway because I got a 1999 Acura that I think is on his last leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's all right. But those Acuras from 99, they were, they were, um, yeah. they made some nice models during that time. Yeah. Uh, that's what my son tells me. Yeah, yeah. yeah the models were nice during that yeah. time. Uh, favorite thing you'd like to read? I, I love to read documentaries. Mm. Um, I, I love to hear how people succeed, how people, you know, how people uh, do things uh, that gotten them to where they're at. Uh, and you know, it, there's always a common denominator: is it's because of people, but more importantly, because of belief. You mm. know, they believed in themselves, and and they weren't afraid to take that step. Absolutely. Yeah. What's the favorite thing you like to do? Favorite thing I like to do. Mm. You know, it's interesting because I, I, I reflect and, and I say, you know, I really love spending time with my family. You know, like la last Saturday, you know, uh, uh, or Sunday, I, I went to the docks. Uh, Dockside. Dockside, uh -huh. uh, right? On your recommendation. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and, and I'll tell you, I had a great time. We were conversing. We had, it, it was awesome. And I love spending time with my kids and my wife, you know, I, and friends. Mm -hmm. You know, for people that know me, they, they know that I, I love to have people over the house, entertain. Those are the things, I, you know, I, I like to be around people. Absolutely. 
other than your current profession, if you was able to do it all over again, what would John Torres do? Wow. <laughs> what would John Torres do? Um, you know, it's interesting. Yeah, you know, I probably, seeing what I know today, I, I would probably want to get into politics to, to really make a difference in, in, in the communities that we serve. Absolutely. I would, I would do that. Absolutely. Final question. If heaven really exists, when the executive director from BCYL, Bridgeport Caribe Youth Leaders, John Torres, arrives there, what do you want to hear God the Great say to you when you arrive at the pearly gates? Welcome home, my man. Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we all wish to hear when we get there, right? That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But Johnny, I mean, this is this is the end of the show, man. Hey, Jason, you know? thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Truly appreciate it. And Absolutely. to be love, I want to say thank you, B. It took almost over a year, <laughs> but I made it. <laughs> be love is one of our board of directors, and she was the one that recommended me. Yeah, to, uh, to your she show. came in. She was on the Good show time. about yeah. a year ago. Yeah. And then she was telling me, "You got to get with Johnny. You got to get with Johnny." I didn't know who. who yeah, I didn't right. know who you were at that yeah, time. Yeah, right, right, right. And um, but then when we made that connection, we've been going back and forth, back and forth. But finally, we made it happen. I have John Torres yeah. here in the studio on the hot seat. John, is the is the seat hot? Very hot, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is hot. It is hot. But we're enjoying ourselves. We're Absolutely, enjoying ourselves. man. That's what matters. Yeah. And um, you know, there's a lot of people on here that are leaving comments. Before we go, John, I just want to acknowledge some of them. Daisy Heredia is saying, "Amazing." That's my niece. Yeah. Uh huh. Wooly. Uh, is saying Johnny is a natural <laughs> and he also said fantastic show for the first time watching best of best of luck with the show can't wait to see the kids playing on Saturday we all uh, are uh, looking uh, for we're that. pumped for, yeah. we're yeah. pumped we're yeah. pumped and then Bertella Love says again so glad you guys have made this connection yeah, yeah, finally yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Linda De Jesus says blessings I see Jose Rodriguez watching Joel Feliz I see you watching as well uh, he's the owner of Evolution Sports Bar and Cafe yeah Joel, yep, Joel. Yeah. Um, I he's see one of our sponsors too. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, good guy, man. He's a great guy. Yeah. Excellent guy, great yep. heart. He has Evolution Barbershop and he has Evolution Sports Bar and Cafe. So yep. show your support if you're watching out there. Um, that's where I go and get my hair because that. Yeah. So Joel's my barber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Al Martinez, Al Millennial is mine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yes. Sir, yeah. I'll be there tomorrow, Al. <laughs> <laughs> no, Al, Al's doing his thing too. He's a great guy too. And Not then good uh, people. Brenda. Brenda Ortiz is saying, Johnny is an awesome example of giving back to the community. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Brenda. Thank yeah. you. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, I can't get to every single comment. Oh, I see Bachata, a uh, pop artist, watching Benny Gonzalez. He is saying, hello, Jason. Much love to you. And uh, Benny, thank you for watching. Benny's a great supporter of the show. Awesome. And uh, when Benny, just to let you know, the show... Uh, the music show, Praying With Music, is going to be coming back in the next couple of weeks. So you already know that we're going to be featuring your new hit single that just came out recently. Besides Madre, we're going to be playing your new song as well, Benny. All but, right. Yeah, yeah. Benny, Benny's nice. the bomb, man. Awesome. Um, but with that said, we're done, man. All right, brother. All right? All right. All right. So God bless you. Thank you. And thank you uh, for coming out to the show. And listen, you guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight. As you know, it is a show that we do each and every Tuesday nights. We come to you live from the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut at 7 p.m. Our goal here is to bring you the best exclusive interviews throughout the state of Connecticut. This is a community platform, and our goal is to bring people from the community to sit them here on our hot seat so that they can showcase their skills and their abilities and so that they can talk about themselves, their testimony, their story, um, all that good stuff. So... If you know someone that should be featured on our show, go onto our website at www.supereliteentertainment.com. Send me their information, and I guarantee you that in turn, I will, I will reach out to them and bring them here into our studio. I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Thank you for your love and your kindness. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for clicking those little hearts, because I see those hearts. Thank you for your comments. God bless. Stay safe. See you next Tuesday night, same place, same time, same channel, right here. Live from Super Elite Entertainment in the city of Bridgeport, Connecticut. God bless, guys.